welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a long-awaited skincare video and I've been getting so many requests to do this. So I'm finally going to break it down for you all how I do my skincare night and day and what I do on a weekly basis to keep my skin on point. I'm gonna start off with nighttime skincare for you guys because this is mainly when I do most of the skin treatments that are involved in my skincare routine. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm going to remove all of my makeup with some cleansing wipes. Right now, I'm just using the basic makeup wipes from Target, but I also love the simple makeup cleansing wipes. And then if I've really got some tough makeup, I'll use my Lancome Double Action Eye Makeup Remover to remove all of my makeup up from my face I really love this makeup remover here because it really does get everything off in one or two swipes next step is cleansing so I've been using two different cleansers lately and for when I'm traveling I tend to keep my Lancome creme mousse comfort I talked about this in my haul video recently but this cleanser is amazing super moisturizing very soft on the skin but also really hydrates my skin I've realized that my skin has become really dry over the last year or so and so anywhere I can boost the moisture and boost the hydration in my skin, I do that. And so I use this and I keep this in my bag when I'm traveling or if I'm at home, I'll use the Mario Badescu Seaweed Cleansing Soap. This soap is really awesome. You can use this with a cleansing brush or without it. It has seaweed particles in it that helps exfoliate the skin without being too harsh. And so I've actually implemented this new Clarisonic Mia Fit into my skincare regimen. I love this little thing. Thing. I haven't used a skin cleansing brush in a very long time because I could tell that my skin was way too sensitive to the brushes. A lot of times with cleansing brushes, they're really harsh on my skin and they're, the bristles are too hard. So I end up having like mini breakouts because it's just too much for my skin. And so what I love about this brush is that the br bristles are really soft. It's mainly a vibrating sensation that I feel while the bristles do their job. And so so this came with two different brush heads, one that's a little bit softer and another one that has a little bit more firmness to it and so you can kind of see which one works best for your skin as well as there's two different speeds on this Clarisonic that allow you to go a little bit more intense or on the softer side. I usually stick to number one with the softer bristle brush since the cleanser that I'm usually using has a little bit of exfoliation with the Mario Badescu cleanser and then if I'm using my Lancome cleanser I will use the number two. Once I've cleansed my face I actually skip to Toner. I found that using toners really don't fit into my lifestyle and I've also only found toners that were a little too harsh for my skin they actually broke me out a lot so I've decided to just skip toner all together and instead I just make sure that I use a really really great cleanser that is sensitive on my skin but also hydrates at the same time and then at night I also add the pink peony overnight water pack into my regimen. This is an overnight hydration mask that really does a great job of reinvigorating my skin and prepping it for the next day. Anytime that I am doing a makeup tutorial or going on camera, I love to use this the night before especially because anytime I have like dark under eyes or even um, any patchy areas in my skin it's usually because my skin is just dry and so I find that when I add in this pink panty overnight mask it really helps just bring out the brightness and just really hydrates it so it has an even tone a lot of times we don't realize that some skin issues may not be from dirt it could be from dryness and the lack of moisture and hydration in your skin and a lot of times that could be the problem you could be using a cleanser that's too harsh for your skin that making you feel dry but you're actually oily or vice versa and your skin kind of doesn't know what to do so I like to lean towards the more sensitive side I know that my skin could probably take a little bit more aggressiveness but I like to keep my skincare regimen for sensitive skin a lot of us have sensitive skin without even realizing it so I like to skip you know the really harsh cleansers and go for really gentle cleansers like the one I ones I have here and then also making sure that I get hydration at at every point of my skincare regimen. 
So after I've applied the mask, I just go to sleep. And in the morning, I actually don't cleanse my face unless I didn't really cleanse my face the night before and I just used the cleansing wipe and went to sleep. I will cleanse my face with that same routine in the morning. But usually at nighttime is the only time that I cleanse my face because once I've applied my hydrating mask, I wanna make sure that I'm keeping all of that natural moisture and hydration that I accumulated over the night for the next day. So in the morning, I usually just apply more moisturizer before I start my day. So right now, I'm loving this Skin Drink Moisturizer from Lush Cosmetics. It is amazing. It's really on the heavier side as far as moisturizers go. So if you feel like you are not ready for something this heavy, I've got a lot of other moisturizers that I really love. Anything from Mario Badescu is really great. They usually use more lightweight and uh, products and ingredients that are prone for, are made for like sensitive skin but this is really amazing if you feel like you have dry skin especially like in the winter or in the, like the dead summer when the Sun is beating on your face I tend to have really bad like just dryness and skin issues in the summertime so this has been great it has great things in it like avocado and aloe vera rose petal so it's really gonna soften your skin as for my weekly treatments that I do I always use some sort of detoxing mask or moisture mask or something like that and recently I've been loving I did a whole snapchat like experience using the glam glow mud mask and this is actually the youth mud this is really good if you are just trying to um, brighten up your complexion even out the tone of your skin uh, and and really just detoxing and exfoliating any dead skin that you have going on it really does help brighten up any dark areas as well that you've got going because it's exfoliating that dead skin off it also dries really fast that's the one thing I always know notice about using this is that I can use this 10-15 minutes before I do my makeup even if I'm rushing I can still get stuff done have this be dry in no time and then be about my day so it's also great for especially if you've got um, wrinkles or this loose skin it really helps tighten up your face also and that's it y'all this is my skincare regimen I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have questions or need more recommendations go ahead and comment down below until next time guys I'll talk to you later bye